Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun project. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are back with Fusion 360, and we're going to open one of my old projects. A user had a question about my Tinkercad drill project. I'm going to hit open, and as you can see, there it is. Now, before I do anything else with adjusting this, I am going to make a copy just so I don't wreck what I built. I'm going to call this Tinkercad Drill, and I'm going to put a V4 after it because I've been fiddling for a while, and I'm going to keep it in my default project area. Now, friends, if you look down at the bottom, I did not introduce this at all, but this is our history. Now, if you look at these two, they are super close to the same size. Let's go back to this spot right here and see what I did wrong. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose edit sketch. Once again, when this opens, you can see mine are all black. That means they're defined. And I just looked at these and said, wait a minute, that formula didn't work. So if we look, I'll double click and it was D5 minus 1.5. That's perfect, that's what I wanted. I'm gonna press enter. If we double click on the next one, I got the decimal point in the wrong spot. But watch this, change it to 1.5 and press enter and it adjusts everything instantly. How cool is that? I'm going to hit finish sketch and we can take a look at our beautiful gold one again. And friends, now I'm going to show you how to modify a project like the user ask as well. So once again, I'm going back in my history and I'm going to edit the sketch. Now Dan wants the distance between the edges of these circles to be the same instead of the distance from the middle. What we're gonna do is real quickly add a point. Now, if you don't have the point on your menus, you can simply go down to the point and use the three dots to pin it. That is what I have done. And now I'm gonna simply go to the midline that I added, and I'm gonna put the point on all of these edges. Now I'm gonna switch to the select tool. If we grab from the right to the left, Notice everything it touched is selected. Let me just show you if we go from the left to the right, doesn't work. This is a magic skill. Once you do that, you can hit delete and those dimensions are gone. Now let's hit D for dimension and we only want to dimension these areas. Press enter. Once again, press enter. Click, click, and don't forget to press enter. And click, click. Don't forget to press enter. So we're going to make this distance whatever we want. I'm going to hit escape to cancel the previous tool. Double click. And I am going to choose a gap of four. Press enter. Now I can double click on this one. And I want it to match that one. Press enter. Double click. Match. Enter. Double click. Match. Enter. Distance the same measured from the edges. All right, friends, so let's wrap this up. I'm going to change this to 5 so they space out just a little nicer. I'm going to change this to 9 and see if I like it better. Pretty close. Let's try 10 and press Enter. I think that is pretty darn awesome, especially when we had a silly measurement of 57 for this side. Friends, now that I'm happy with my sketch, I'm going to hit finish sketch. Friends, there you have it. Fixed my air and got it nudged so it's the middles, just like Dan was asking about. Friends, of course, I'm going to click on the environment and I'm going to pick one of the cool colors that I dig. Today, I'm going to go infinity pool. I am also going to shut off the layout grid. And under visual style, I'm going to choose shaded just like that. And then finally, I am going to hide my sketches. Friends, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you're having a ton of fun learning about Fusion 360. Now, friends, I do want to give a quick shout out to CADclass.org. I am in the middle of this CAD class, 28 steps. It is amazing, and I am learning a ton. I could not share what I'm doing today if I had not started this course. As an added bonus, friends, I have a coupon code for you. If you type 25, capital H, L, Tinkercad, you can get 25% off the full course price. 
the training has been fast, fun, and you actually create things on day one, which absolutely makes my day. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.